Right guys, we're gonna do problem 2 2. If the magnitude of the resultant force is to be 500 newtons, directing along the positive y axis, determine the magnitude of the force and its direction in beta. So, they're asking you basically if the force, if the resultant force is this, what is this force? The resultant force being 500 newtons directed in the positive y axis. So basically, we're, this force, we're going to move it over here for the parallelogram law, remember. And we're going to have a triangle. And we're going to use the law of cosines. to figure out this force. So basically we have this triangle and we know that this angle is 105 degrees because this is 90 and this is 15. You add them up you get one of five degrees. You also know that this resultant force, this is a far, is 500. And you know that this force is 700. You want to use the law of when you have something like this two sides and, the, and an angle. Then you can figure it out which the other one is pretty easily. Law cosines goes c square is equal to a square plus b square minus 2 a b cosine of angle c angle c being this one if this is a this is angle big a if this is b this is angle big b and if this is c this one of five is angle big c now you just plug in the numbers into the formula And you're going to get that the magnitude of F is magnitude of F is equal to C, which is equal to, remember, after you do all this, then you have to square root it. Don't forget. The magnitude of F is 959.78 newtons. I did this on paper already, so I'll leave the calculations up to you. Then what you gotta figure it out is uh, the angle, this angle, angle A. Now, there are many ways to do this. The way I decided to do it was to use the formulas on the X. Remember on the X, negative 700 cosine of 15 plus the force cosine of theta which is, which is the angle that we're looking for has to be equal to zero they have to cancel out because the resultant force is going straight up so this force on the x-axis and this force on the x-axis have to cancel out and then you just solve for theta and you get that the angle is 45.21 degrees Final answer and final answer over here. So the resultant force, I mean, sorry. So the force, not the resultant force, remember we're looking for this one, is 959.78 at an angle of 45.21 degrees.